addition to influence the cognitions of avoidant and shy individuals, we also find that their linguistic development is greatly impacted. For instance, tying in with cognitions and perspective taking, we find that shy individuals lag behind in terms of pragmatic skill development. So pragmatic language development is the idea that they have really good social competence when it comes to conversations, that they are able to uh, speak at the right tone, at the right rate, in the right type of intonation that would fit a scene, that they're not going to talk to everyone like they're babies or not talk to everyone like they're um, road scholars, for instance. And so this is the idea that they will be able to understand the context and the social cues. And if somebody looks like they want to end a conversation, they pick up on that. Pragmatic language is also the ability to keep a conversation going. As mentioned, shy and anxious children tend to drop the ball with conversation. So it's the idea they'll give one word answers that shut a conversation down much more quickly than someone who will elaborate and keep the conversation going. For instance, I almost want to pull out little puppets for this, but imagine if one person who is more social and one person who's more shy, if the person more social says, you know, how are you doing? Good. You know, that, that's a little bit harder for us. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you? That's a really basic example, but this does tend to come up in lots of different situations with people who are shy and anxious. In addition, when it comes to other linguistic skills, such as vocabulary, we tend to find that children, especially who are high in shyness, tend to display a reduced vocabulary. They know less words, both expressed and comprehended. They tend to speak less frequently. And when they do speak, they speak really soft, much more quietly, and they use shorter clause, shorter statements with less word diversity. And so because of this, we tend to see, especially when they're in young elementary and the teacher's trying to see how well their linguistic development is and if they can speak and if they can write and if they can read, they might give really brief short utterances that don't really display everything that they know. And because of this, we've identified this as the competence versus performance issue. We often find that shy individuals might actually comprehend and understand much more than what they're letting on. Especially in school, if they're called on by a teacher, they might only say one or two words, or they might hesitate altogether and freeze, but they actually do know a lot. Luckily again, we have more interventions. So lots of interventions for shyness and social withdrawal. And so some of these things could include uh, encouraging someone to join something like Toastmasters, where they practice doing public speaking. We know that public speaking is one of the most feared things in humanity. So it's common for people to feel nervous about that. So doing a club like Toastmasters that allows you to get more comfortable with it can definitely help. We know that putting someone on the spotlight can really make us freeze up. So maybe giving them a less intense situation, maybe there's not necessarily a camera in their face or a spotlight on them and they're standing at a podium, but maybe that is the situation that helps them because then they can be an actor and they can go into a character as well. We also find that shy individuals might be more able to say things in a nonverbal form, especially when it's online and anonymous. Now, when it is anonymous or seemingly anonymous, we do find that that social incompetence comes out and shy individuals will say more. They might say things that are really faux pas or inappropriate. We also find that shy individuals use mediums like email to have really heavy conversations they're unable to have in person. So they might disclose really vulnerable, heavy stuff via email they would never disclose in person to others. And it might be too much information uh, that they just get out all at once. It's important to help develop the language skills in individuals who are shy and anxious because having good language skills can actually help as a buffer to help deal with the rest of the issues that come with being shy. Because if someone's really shy and they don't know how to approach someone, they might be able to articulate something or comment on something in such a way that it gives them a bit of a safety net.